Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Gunderson Multimax Auto Rack in the orange BNSF paint scheme. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build now. So we're going to start off with the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair, and we'll attach that up and under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block forward, on the upper hip box of the bottom middle, we're going to put two acacia slabs in the center. Then start on top of this, in front of the stair with orange concrete, and we're going to do a line of orange concrete down the middle of the second layer, and that's going to be 42 blocks long in total. And just keep it coming here until you have a total of 42 blocks. Then once you have 42 at this end on the second layer, we'll put a dark oak stair here for the coupler on this end. Then a fence gate under it. And then two acacia slabs down here. Then right in front of where the slabs are, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle in between them. In front of that, we'll go three wide with upside down nether brick stairs in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. And in front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. And then we'll put two fence skates on the middle of each side of the truck. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of the hoppers here. Then we have to build the truck at the other end. So we'll come down here, right in front of where these acacia slabs are. And on the next block forward, do another right wheel on each rail again with an end rod axle in between them. Then same as before, we'll go three wide with upside down nether brick stairs in a back to back T-shaped pattern. Then in front of that, another set of netherite wheels on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a hopper on the side of all four of the wheels at this end. And then two fence gates on the middle of each side of this truck. Then same as before, we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of the hoppers on this side. Then we're going to come up in front of the wheel underneath here on the middle and do a full line of acacia slabs down the center across the bottom here. And we're going to bring that all the way down till it meets up with the wheels on this end of the car here. Just like that. Now we're gonna go back to Acacia slabs, come on the end where this slab is, and put a slab on the upper hitbox of the bottom here, and one on this side here. Then we'll repeat it at the other end. So do one here in this corner, and one here in this corner. Then we're gonna come down here, we're going to go two empty blocks of space and then a slab, skip to a slab, skip to a slab, and keep doing that all the way across the middle here with two empty blocks of space between each slab. Just like that. Then we'll copy it over here, so a slab, and then keep leaving two empty blocks of space between each slab and come all the way down this side. Then we'll come right here, start on this slab with orange concrete, and we'll do a full line of orange concrete coming across this, on this second layer. And we're gonna bring it all the way down to the other end here.
right till you get here. And then do the same thing on this side. Start here with orange concrete. And do a full line of orange concrete coming all the way down this side. And then stop right here. Then on this outside edge, we're going to do upside down outward facing acacia stairs on the side of the orange concrete. And we're going to go end to end with it. And then we'll do the same thing over here, upside down outward facing acacia stairs on the side of the orange concrete, going end to end here. Just like that. Now come on the side of the top, one block in from the end, and do a column of seven orange concrete coming up. And then seven on this side across from it. Then down in this corner, two upside down acacia stairs facing outward, and two on this side. Above the stairs, we'll bring orange concrete up to the top here. And then same thing over here. Then we need to repeat that process at this end. So one block in from the end, do a column of seven orange concrete coming up, and seven right here. Then down in this corner, two upside down acacia stairs facing outward, two on this side. Then above it, orange concrete up to the top, and orange concrete to the top over here. Then we're going to come down here and put three acacia fence gates on these three stairs in the corner, and three on this side over here. Repeat it at this end, so three fence gates right here three on this side over here. Now we're going to come down on the bottom outside edge of this corner, do four stone brick walls, three orange concrete. Then four stone brick walls, skip one, four walls twice, skip one, four walls three times, skip one, four walls four times, skip one, four walls five times. Then three orange concrete and four walls. Then we're going to raise this three orange concrete up to the top so it's that same height of seven blocks tall. Then in between the walls here we do a single column of seven orange concrete and all of these spaces between the walls here. And then we raise these three orange concrete up so they're seven blocks tall as well. Then. We're simply going to come to the other side and copy our pattern of orange concrete directly across to this side the exact same way here. So copy all these columns in. And then three wide right here. And now comes the tedious part. We're going to fill all these gaps between them with stone brick wall and bring them all up to the top so that they're seven blocks tall. And we're going to do that on every space on both sides of the car. And it's very tedious, so I'm going to speed it up here. And just keep it coming on all the spaces here and we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side fill them all up to the top on all the spaces with stone brick walls right down to the end so both sides are all filled in now and it looks like this and now we're on to some detailing on the bottom here. We're going to do our handbrake. Come in this corner. And we're going to put a lever going down right in this corner up bottom. Then under that lever we need to crouch. And we need to get a vertical chain under it. And then a horizontal chain. Then we're going to come over on the side of this other wheel here. And right here we're going to put three horizontal chains. And then an upside down grindstone here. And now our 
our handbrakes on. Then we're gonna come on this column of three orange concrete. On the middle under it, we're gonna knock out this stair and put in a black stone brick stair. Then we're gonna come down to this end. And we're gonna come by where this first single column of orange concrete is, change this to black stone brick. Then we're gonna put two upside down quartz stairs. And then next to this, take out these three and we'll put a black stone brick on either side and a quartz stair in the middle. Then we need to repeat the process on the other side of the car. Come over here under this one on the center of it, a single black stone brick stair right here. Then come over here to the first column of one orange concrete. We're gonna go black stone brick, quartz, black stone brick, two quartz stairs, and a black stone brick stair. Then we're gonna take out oak signs here. And we're still gonna come on the bottom edge of the stairs. And we're gonna put a sign here, here, and then right here on the corner. Then copy that, so come to this side, down at this end. And we're gonna put a sign here, here, one in the corner. Then we'll move over, and we're gonna come just in front of this here and do one here one right here then here here and then one here and one here in this corner then we need to repeat that on the other side so come over here we'll do one here 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 one here one here and one right here then come on this column of three orange concrete and put an acacia fence gate here and here do the same thing for this one so one here and here and then we got to get the other side come over here we'll do one here one here and then one here and one here now we're gonna come on this corner here, put an oak sign right here. Skip a block up and do a dark oak side. And up here, two polished black stone buttons. Then we need to do the other side. So come over here and come to this opposite end. And we'll do the same thing. So put an oak sign here, skip a block up, a dark oak sign, and then two polished black stone buttons here. Now we'll do the other end, which is slightly different. So come down here. On this side, we're gonna put an oak side here, then a birch side right here, then a dark oak side right here, and up here, a polished black stone button right here. Then we'll copy that on the other side. So come down to this side on this end. And we'll do the same thing. So an oak sign here, a birch sign here, a dark oak sign here, and a polished black stone button right here. Now we're gonna come down on the end of the car here in this middle, and we're gonna do a three by six of orange concrete coming up in the middle. Then on top, two rows of three smooth quartz in the top middle, like this. And then of course, we're gonna repeat it at this end. So we're gonna come down here and do a three by six of orange concrete coming up the middle. And then two rows of three smooth quartz on this top middle. Just like that. Next, we need to make a banner. So we're gonna come into a loom with a black banner, light gray dye put a horizontal on the top, the bottom, the middle, and then put a light gray border on it. We'll also need just a plain light gray banner. We're gonna come on the bottom of each side of the end here, and we need to put a single light gray banner on the bottom of each side, then one block up the stripe banner, then one block up a light gray banner, and another light gray banner on each side.
Then above the two light gray banners, we do another stripe one on each side. And above that, we do two plain light gray ones. And then we'll repeat it at this end. So we'll come on the bottom of each side and do a single light gray banner. Then one block up the stripe banner. Then two light gray ones. Then a stripe one again. And then a light gray one above it on each side. Then we're gonna come one block up from the coupler on each side of the orange and do a column of iron bars coming up each side like this. And we'll stop right here. Then down here in the middle, we're gonna do a fence gate right here under it a blackstone button and two blackstone buttons like that. And of course, we'll repeat it at this end. So come down in here. Start one block up from the coupler on each side and do a column of iron bars on each side again. Until you're right here. Then above the coupler in the middle, we're gonna do a single polished blackstone button, then a jungle fence gate, then up here two polished blackstone buttons, then we're gonna put a button on this corner and this corner. Come down here repeat it on this end, sew a button here and here. Then we're going to put an acacia slab on each corner like this and three orange carpet across this smooth quartz. Do the same thing here, sew an acacia slab here and here and three orange carpet up here. Now take out andesite blocks and come on this top middle here and we're going to fill it end to end three wide in the center with andesite blocks until the whole top of the car is filled in here. And just keep it coming right down to this end. Then on this top outside edge here, start right here, and we'll do a full line of andesite slabs across this top corner and go end to end. And then that makes our curvature and covers the hole on top here. And then of course, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Come over here, and do a full row of andesite slabs on this top outside edge on this side. And bring that all the way down to this other end here. Just like that. Then we're gonna take blackstone button and put one here and here. And we'll do the same thing at this end. Come up here and put a button here and here. Now we'll do where the logo is, so come up here. We're gonna knock out these four walls and another row of four. On the top, we're gonna put four black stone brick walls and under it, four red sandstone walls. And that represents the BNSF logo. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so come to this end to this side, right here, and knock out two rows of four of these walls right here. We put four red sandstone walls on bottom and four black stone brick walls above it. And now the logo's on this side here. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Gunderson Automax BNSF Auto Rack here. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.